Who do you think is most responsible for what went down Sunday night? Denny Bawanga, Carlos Vela, or Aaron Long? But not Giorgio Chiellini, not Chiellini. He was great, he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I actually thought Chiellini was decent. He had a... Oh yeah, yeah, why don't you roll the tape on that? Well, watch my man walking back as, as, as Alba walks through on that goal. Why didn't they put Giorgio Chiellini in the Drive a Aaron truck Long? through those two center backs. Nightmare, nightmare that. Listen, I saw a great through ball to Bowanga. <clears throat> excuse me, Oh, botched. okay, okay, great. One great through ball from your center back, that's why he's there. Okay, so who is the worst player on the field for you, Aaron Long or Giorgio Chiellini? Ah. They're, they're both right there. Well, no, they're both no, right no, there. No, no, if Aaron no, Long no, had a no. three out of ten, Chiellini had a four out of ten. Uh, okay, you've got you've got three names you could put up here. Do you want to switch any of them for Giorgio Chiellini? That's all I'm going to ask you. Uh, no, I think we got the right three. Uh, okay, I think we got the right. Three. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, they struggled absolutely, but that's nothing to do with why they lost this mm -hmm. game. Denny Boanga. Denny Bowanga has 36 goal involvements in all competitions for LAFC. 36 goal involvements. That is insane. The man is it, ridiculous season, MVP pace. He's top three in the league for my money. He's been that good. But in the biggest of moments, post the biggest of L's. I mean, Denny Bowanga, I just said they could have been 26 minute, four to one. Three of those chances were his. Three massive chances. If you go and check his numbers, Big chances created, another three. I counted, in general, in the game, six chances. I'm all four players being selfish, nines mm -hmm. being selfish mm -hmm. when they need to be. You didn't need to be selfish. Give Carlos Vela the ball. That's all you needed to do. One of those goals in the first half puts this game away. Then Inter-Miami has to chase the game, and you are good, your team is good at transitioning, and you can just pick them apart. He tried too much, did too little. How many countless clean looks did Denny Boanga have for us to say anybody else besides Denny Boanga? Let me ask you as a striker, was it watching it, did you get the sense that this was like a one-off thing for Boanga? Or, and you've watched him a lot more than I have this season, is it something that you think will be worrisome down the road? And then beyond that, obviously it's a moment of frustration with Vela. Is there a bigger problem that, there? Does that get worked out quickly between two attackers? You who've been there? Yeah, that's not gonna get worked out that quickly. It's not like, hey, we forget about it. There's gonna have to be something that happens for you to forget about it. You know, better, better moments between you two on the field or a harsh discussion and, and you get over it. But th this is gonna take a while because the world is watching. I think this was a big moment for Carlos Vela and he, he felt like he wanted that moment. Now, Denny Bowanga mm -hmm. worries me is, this may be a one-off this season, um, but we saw it against Leon. I mean, Denny Bowanga in that return leg, he had one early on and it didn't go his way. He's one of those players that you expect the DP players to come out under the lights. He's not come out. I mean, lots of goals, and he's one of the most exciting players in Major League Soccer, and he's a guy that I thought, honestly, would have stolen the headlines mm -hmm. in this game. It didn't happen for him. I'll chalk this off as a one-off because okay. he's been that good in all competitions. It'd be very unfair of me to say otherwise. But, man, when the world is watching, what, what better platform would have yeah. he had? So, I mean, and that's why I'm picking Carlos Vela over Bowanga, because I feel like Bowanga's game, as impactful as it was, was a little bit unlucky. At least he was in the right places. At least he, he, he was there to miss the opportunities. Carlos Vela, for large stretches of this game, Herc, was a ghost. Was and he? I keep looking down at my phone. I keep looking down at my phone. I'm waiting for the phone call from Bob Bradley to call me up, to ring me up and say, you know what, Seb? You were right. You were right all those years ago when I got mad at you for asking a question after Carlos Vela actually had a good game in a big game about Carlos Vela's big game history. What, did you say he, he does a ghost? not show up. Even his assist, Herc, is a garbage time assist. The bottom line is he's not the guy even at MLS level that he was a few years ago. And from an LAFC perspective, you're not bringing Gareth Bale off the bench anymore. You were just talking about MLS Cup last year to bail you out. I don't think, based on last night certainly, that Carlos Vela is enough to be the guy anymore for LAFC if they're going to be, as the odds makers still have them, one of the favorites to win MLS Cup. Not based on last night, Herc. Do you think, do you think that right now Carlos Vela is enough? Uh, enough to be a difference maker on this team? Enough to get LAFC to win MLS Cup again. To repeat. That's the only thing left in the season, right?
Well, you're the defending yes. champions. That's the only you got to CCL final. Season. You could, you couldn't get over that hump. Here it is, MLS Cup. That's it, right? I, I don't even think it's on Denny Boanga. For MLS Cup, we're talking about... Okay. For MLS Cup, I don't think it's on Denny Boanga or Carlos Vela. I think it's on that midfield. I was told how great this midfield was. I once made a comment about how the Galaxy midfield was one of the best in Major League Soccer. And the LAFC fans are, what about our midfield? What about our midfield? It's been non-existent as of late. And the mm -hmm. way they play when it's non-existent, well, your team will be non-existent. You can't put those center backs. We mentioned the center backs. You can't put any center back in this league in a compromising position where they have to defend high and 1v1. It's not going to end well. Carlos Vela does have some big game um, in Major League Soccer moments where he's not at the best that we mm -hmm. would have liked. But, I mean, it's interesting that you said he was a ghost. Uh in the Slack channel, you asked that question. It was actually, well, he actually it was the seventh game that he's had the most touches in in, in Major League Soccer. Was oh, like, I'm sorry. We judge designated players off their touches. Why don't you tell me no, about his past a, completion percentage? Why don't you tell me about this incredibly technically gifted player, most talented player of his generation you that question? you love to talk about? Do you Why don't think... you tell me about his past completion percentage? I was his second worst this season. Why don't you you want to talk about stats? Go ahead. Or okay. I'm not going to lean on the stats here, but they don't they don't tell some great story about Carlos Vela. A, a lot of touches with zero goals and a trash time assist doesn't really do any good. Let Not in the big games against the big teams. Let uh. me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Denny Boanga puts, down, puts that one like Messi uh, did come if, if, if it's in Bach, listen, come on. Listen, I just want your opinion. I just, I'm asking for your opinion here. Mm -hmm. Do you think he buries it? Not based on his big game Do record. Maybe that's what, that's what Boanga knew. Except, that's what Boanga knew. Boanga bet on himself. <laughs> He's been watching football he knew his big game record? Come on. Do, yep. you, do, uh, do you think he better? Danny Bowong is a big fan of the Mexican national team, okay? He, he's watched all of all of Hella's past. <laughs> do you think he buries it? Probably. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was it was a good setup for him. If he puts it on his left foot like uh, Messi did for Campana, uh, yeah. certainly. Certainly.